Hi, happy Thursday, how are you? Hope you're all right, you've had a nice day. And you've had a good week. Go and get a brew, I've got coffee. I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with the kids today. So I feel like six weeks. Oh, keeping them entertained for six weeks is quite something, I think. I don't care what any parent says, I think it's quite a task, you know, to make sure they're not like sat on their Xbox all day basically, which is what I don't want. So yeah, we've done well so far. I mean, Tyler officially broke up on Monday, but um, yeah, I'm trying to like, you know, get words out, I'm trying to find things to like keep them busy and entertained. And I found like loads of free activities, like loads of like um, beach days, beach sports stuff. Like, um, so we went to the beach yesterday uh, which was quite nice. They, I got a bat and ball from um, Poundland, didn't I? So I thought it was going to be a bit shit because it was foam. Like the ball's, you know, really lightweight and I thought the wind's going to take that, you know, but it actually it was really good. So there was rounders on the beach, you know, just getting some stones and like doing your markers. Um, the football as well. And they took their um, little card. I don't know if you remember, was it last year or this year? I did a collab where, um, I think it might be this year, the start of this year, but I was gifted a car like a racing car, so they went out with that as well. You'll be surprised, honestly, like the amount of shit you can find in your area, you know, and get the kids out mingling and making new friends and stuff. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, just seeing what's about, you know. Sometimes it's the smaller things, like we always think, don't we, that I'm going off, I know, but you know, like it's gotta be really extravagant or, you know, what you see online, like what you need to remember is people post online what they want you to see, you know. So, like for example, you know when I did the circus vlog, yes that was free, um, but I posted a vlog of something we did, but the rest of the week isn't like that, do you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, you just, people post online what they want you to see, so it isn't all like that. Nine times out of ten the kids are on the Xbox, you know, and we go out and I try and break it up and do things and stuff like that in the day and that, so, yeah, you know, cooking, park, walks, you know, just checking if there's any youth clubs, anything like that. I feel like I'm like, is this even a charity shop try? And I'm really going off and I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. because I know it can be difficult. It really can, you know? And like I said, all you see online is the good bits, you know? So yeah, honestly, have a good Google, put your area in and things to do for kids, you know, and see what comes up. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll get on with it now. So I'm doing a Chazza try on. Oh, that brought me toast with me then. Um, so yeah, everything I bought the other day from the charity shop, I'm gonna show you all, I'm gonna try it on. Can I just say as well, thank you so much for all your lovely words about my try-ons. This is my top from Sheen. This is what I mean by wearing a black top underneath. Maybe I should style it a little bit better in the video, but I just had my bra on. You know, I was doing it there and then didn't go upstairs and get a black top. But this is kind of what I mean. So like a little black top underneath and it does go perfect with a jumpsuit. So, but you know, like a mum style pair of jeans, like I was saying, like the skinny fit just weren't happening. All right, <laughs> just, no, no thank you. But you know, with like a mum style pair of jeans, I mean, today I've got some black cycling shorts on, so, you know, I'm just rocking that kind of look. But um, yeah, just this kind of thing, you know, it's gorgeous, I love this. So I am looking for like a crochet top, like a white one. I want one, I've seen some on Vinted, but they're all backless, you know. Can I just say, I've just bought a mystery clothing bundle off Vinted. Don't know if we're gonna get that out then. But a mystery, um, like, yeah, big bundle. There's like 22 arms of clothing, 10 pairs of shoes. So, yeah, it's just like a, a basic photo. You can't actually see really what's in there, so I'm proper excited. And I've just paid for that now, so. Bargain, 15 quid. So I'm excited, honestly, I can't wait. So that'll be here soon. And um, yeah, we'll try that on as well. But, um, yeah, if you do want to stick around, I'll show you all me bits and bobs that I got from the Chazza. Well, you know what I got. I mean, like, try them on. So, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate... Get your words out, you twat. All right? I really... <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already there. And I shall go on with it. <laughs> I've got to do my try on here, boys. Look at you. <laughs> First thing, right, is this maxi dress okay i know my angles are terrible all right with doing try-ons try-ons are like I'm, I'm not very good at all you know because my angles i don't know if i need like i've got a tripod right 
but it's not that tall like my camera's on it now but it's not that tall so I don't know if I need like a wide or a, a long or <laughs> I need some that's all we are but yeah somebody asked me why yesterday why I do them in my kitchen it's just more space honestly that's purely all it is like it's a little bit more space um but yeah this is the dress honestly it's proper nice it's a size 20 from peacocks and it cost me a pound as you know and i love it it is proper long though i feel like i'm literally cleaning the floors with it seriously it's just dragging i know maxi dresses are quite long i feel like my um cardi might work with this as well you know for them chilly nights everyone says that didn't they them chilly nights does it go i don't know i've got a top here that's what's giving that little bump what I've done is I've just folded my top down. <laughs> just folded my top down a bit. And I've got my shorts on. You know, it's just laziness because I don't really want to strip off. But um, does that work? I don't know. It's proper long though. The dress, I'm, I like it, but I'm not sure if I'm 100% now. But it's nice. I do like a maxi dress. But um, yeah, this is the first thing. So I bought this sheer classy, I think it's classy classy um shirt right the only thing is i thought this was going to be a problem but it's not so i'm quite sure by that because i have this problem but i thought it undone full x it's got buttons but it hasn't it like kind of stops there that's attached and i thought shit you know because even if it didn't fit done up i could have it like open with the top like this but actually all right we've got it on size 16 so i feel really fucking classy in this okay for a not so classy bird all right i feel quite i don't know do you know what i mean like when my hair slicked back i mean i've been rocking this style lately just out of ease i did it out of pure ease and now i'm like i quite like it it's a bit bumpy because i've still got a lot of air glue but um like ta you know from my tapes all tangled up it's a fucking nightmare honestly but um i feel honestly i feel proper classy do you know what i mean like it's got the like floaty sleeves there's this bit here so you can like tighten this to bring you in feel like i'm getting all my school run back to school um attire ready you know it only cost me a quid but i feel like does anyone ever feel like this um surely but where you feel like right i've got summer holidays now i'm gonna like use that as my time to like glow up if that makes sense and then i'm gonna do the school run i'm gonna be like a bad bitch i always think like i'm gonna be that woman i just have this in my head like right six weeks you know i'm gonna rock up in september doing the school run like who is she seriously who the fuck is she i have all these wild ideas in my head do you know what i mean i'll still rock up like words of fucking gummage september fucking fourth or whatever it is but <laughs> like it so yeah this is me pound shirt that I feel very nice in. Got this bodysuit, didn't I? So I love the colour. This cost me a pound. I've got a vest top underneath. But um, I'm not sure it's going to fit my flaps. Or oh, I won't lie to you. It's, it's a bit. Do you know what I mean? This is the kind of thing that I would wear on the school run. This is more me. You know, greasy air, joggers. Honestly, this is literally Crocs. Dog chewed Crocs. Let me tell you, Crash has chewed the fuck out of my Crocs. And do I still wear them? Yes, I do. You'll catch me down a little half chewed Croc. All right bread in one hand fucking flapping in the other honestly <laughs> this is why oh do you ever get in a certain position and your leg starts doing something weird i've just got a weird feeling there i think this might fit it is a little bit up there if you just pull it a bit all right gives you some high sides i don't think it's a high sided high-sided one but no it is a bit up there to be honest oh, we'll undo that fuck that you just took it in though you know how fucked i am doing this body suits are more fucking asshole than it's worth i tell you took it in though see that's quite nice isn't it look i feel quite snazzy now the issue it is going to pop out usually gets me when i'm driving driving along you know and it pings open pulls a lip while it's at it but um yeah it does do up it's just a bit tight I wasn't too sure about this one right because of this floaty bit so it's a boob tube you know and it's nice it is really nice but I thought oh this is going to do me head in but actually I changed my mind I really like it this is from Next it cost me a pound 
um size 14 this is this is what i mean though you know i'm not a size 14 but there's room for one more don't listen to what's in the fucking label all right but this i love it honestly i was really like oh, but it kind of just adds something you know i was a bit like mm, i like it do you know what i mean so and i love tops like this because you don't need a bra this kind of covers the fact that you take the warm-ass spaniels you know covers that so and you don't get that awkward tan which i have got for like a weird you know weird tan lines going on but yeah i really like it and i like the color it's very summery so what do you think for a pound from next i mean i bet this for about 15 quid before you know and i got down the chairs off so this one i love but i think i might have to step into it because it's there's no give in this material and if i get it over my shoulders i'm going to be stuck here a while i don't fancy getting steve to help me but i'm gonna try um, it's not bad for a 16 though oh i like it i do my nipples look a bit weird my boobs look a bit weird than that i like it my boobs got my nipple pointing downwards look at this <laughs> I like it, I just, it's a bit all over the I think it's this top underneath, hang on. Let's get this off. Oh, that's better. There we fucking go. Alright. This was 50p. This was 50p on 50p rail. Look, it's got a nice bit of glam there. Oh my god. I like it it was the extra clothing that was ruining it it was making it a bit tight but i like it what you have to do if your nipples point downwards is you just pull your boobs up a bit and they point normal <laughs> so um i love the color honestly the color is so nice this one i got for a quid it's a little crop top um i have put my little cardigan with it because it is white and see-through i haven't got a bra on right now yeah, it's really nice. This was a pound, brand new. It had brand new H&M labels on. It's gorgeous, honestly. It's just really nice. So I love little tops like this. Size 12, in love, honestly. Absolutely in love, right? It's just a really nice um, little blue top. Like, and it ties around here. I thought this would be a bit annoying because it's a bit on my neck, but it's not. It's really nice. And it's got um, like the little metal bits here. So I just love it, honestly. It, I feel really nice that it's a size 12. So, um, yeah, I've seen this very last minute in the Chazar. So, size 14 from Select Right. I don't know if it's supposed to be a crop, but it is. But I'll take it, all right, because I really like it. I like how it fits. Like, it's not too itchy as well. I thought it'd be like a really itchy material. But, um, obviously, I won't have the little white top underneath. I mean, it don't look bad, does it? But, yeah, it's a size 14. Honestly, I like i like it and it will soon be like i said september october all right it'll be cold so i'm getting prepared all right i'm getting prepared so this is from boohoo right it was a pound and i think it's a dress like a jumper dress but it isn't it it doesn't cover me crack all right let me tell you it does not cover me crack all right how i mean maybe on a size medium it would be a dress but on me which is not a size medium it isn't but it's all hanging out all right you can feel the draft okay so i don't think i mean as a jumper gladly i was thinking maybe clark boots and everything that i got but it just won't work so as a jumper it's very nice it's quite a classy little jumper nobody has to know that it's not a dress i mean it might not even be a dress but i assumed it was because it was in the dress section so <laughs> this is a bit irritating but that's because i do find you know this kind of do you know what i mean i don't like that but it's nice it's quite a classy little jumper so yeah for a pound you can't go wrong can you listen right i didn't stand a chance with this which is gorgeous it's this gorgeous little two-piece i just didn't stand a chance i tried to get it on and it was too explicit for the video it didn't cover fuck all all right it was <laughs> it was terrible okay so this is a size 12 this is where i do push me luck all right but as you've seen all right i do get in 
some smaller sizes. But yeah, I am quite happy with most things. So yeah, it's just the size 12 set. That's the end of the video though. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you have to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, before I go as well, B&M kindly gifted me some um, beauty products. So they sent out, they have a range of all kinds of beauty products if you did want to check them out. Um, so yeah, they sent me the Enliven, I think that's how you say. Enliven shampoo and conditioner, it's banana, which smells very nice. So yeah, I'm not sure if I've tried this range, but yeah, crash snoring. Um, but they've sent me the hair mask as well. It's very similar to the Garnier, is it hair food? So yeah, I've got those. They also have, um, they've sent me out some masks, not masks, what you call it, wipes for your face. These are the masks. So yeah, there's um, the Skin Techniques Pink Grapefruit Bubble Sheet Mask. That sounds quite nice. There's um, Brightening, Vitamin C Brightening Mask and a Foot Peel. So, and some dry shampoo, which I bloody need because my hair, I've just been tying up every day and putting product in it. You know, it needs a wash, but this is like kind of my escape the wash because I just can't be arsed. But now my tapes are out. You know, it is a bit easier to wash my hair, but sometimes I just absolutely cannot be bothered to wash my hair. So dry shampoo for the win. So yeah, thank you to being and sending me these out. So yeah, they've got a whole exclusive range of beauty items and stuff. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. As always, my friends, don't let any of your kids get you down. All right, you're absolutely fucking amazing. Okay, never forget it. I know you're worth, okay? And if you are stressing out in the holidays, if you've got kids and you know you feel like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, honestly, have a look online. There might be a load of like, free things in your area. You know, there's simple activities you can do, cooking, movie nights, you know, just as simple as getting a load of bed sheets in the garden and just messing around. Don't worry about the mess, all right? Don't worry about anything like that. That can come later, you know, the tidying and all that. Honestly, just the simple things with kids have the most impact. You know, you don't have to be gallivanting left, right and centre, you know. Just know that, honestly. Know that you're doing fucking amazing, okay. I don't care what anyone else says, alright. What you see online and this, that and the other. You know, you're doing alright. I need a coffee. You're doing alright, okay. I love you. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.